you crave exciting sports takes and news? Fed up with the same old boring voices you hear on the radio? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you just might be a tea bloomaholic. Lucky for you, it's time for another episode of the Tea Bloom Talk Show, the number one sports podcast in the world. Settle in, my Tea Bloomanites, because another episode starts right now. Live from Tea Bloom headquarters, here's your host, Tea Bloom. Nation! What's going on, folks? T-Bloom here, back with another episode of the T-Bloom Talk Show. First off, I want to start this off with just an apology. This episode was supposed to air right before Super Bowl Sunday. Due to technical software difficulties, it just wasn't able to come out that way. However, we did have two or three interviews. <clears throat> three interviews that I thought, although we're talking about what we think is going to happen in the Super Bowl, it's still very interesting, and it'll be fun for you to sit there and watch either how good of predictors we are or how stupid we sound after the hindsight of the Chiefs winning 38-35 to over the Philadelphia Eagles. So we have that, not to mention, most fun I've had on the T-Bloom Talk Show probably ever. Two new segments, one, Five Stages of Hell, the second one, Six Chances of Greatness. You'll be learning about those soon enough, but for right now, I want to take you over to the interview I did with my man Drake Hendrickson from Play Action Football. You can follow them on Instagram or TikTok or wherever the links may find you down at the bottom of the video. Go ahead and make sure you check out Jake Hendrickson. Here's our full official interview with him. I hope you enjoy. All right, all right. Welcome to the T-Bloom Talk Show, Jake. How are we feeling today? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, absolutely, man. I appreciate you taking time out of your day. I'm sure it's pretty hectic. You're in school, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously a hectic schedule. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to come join us on the T Bloom Talk Show. Welcome to it. A uh, few rules. There are no rules, you know. Say what you want to say, how you want to say it. And uh, we accept everything over here at the T Bloom Talk Show. Um, like I said, though, appreciate you having coming on. Um, so, there are a few people in play action football. Do you want to kind of break down what play action football is and kind of who it all consists of? For sure. Yeah. So it kind of started with my two friends. Uh, Their names are Matt and Makana. They're the two kind of main ones that work on it. And so we've all just kind of had a love for sports, you know, Um, as I'm sure you do, too. And uh, we just we wanted to make uh, some kind of it it actually went through a few iterations. Um, It started out we want to do like a sports media where we wrote stories. So we had a website tried to write articles about that. And we had people, all of our friends writing stuff for that. And then it kind of eventually moved and evolved into what it is now. And what we do is we just kind of do short form content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and, um, you know, do takes on whatever, you know, football stuff is going on. Um, So we do a lot of predictions for games. We do a lot of you know, player breakdowns over the off season. We do like player scouting and stuff like that, but it's a lot of fun, a lot of good content. You guys should all to go check it out. Absolutely. Play action football. I follow you guys on TikTok and uh, uh, Instagram. So yeah, go check it out. Play action football. I'll put a little link in the uh, description. Obviously uh, you guys can make it easy for you guys to go check that out. Um, besides football, football season is unfortunately kind of ending. We're going into the off season. What, are you guys just going to do draft profiles or do you guys are you guys into any other sport potentially? Yeah, so we actually started out with a lot of sports. Um, we've kind of narrowed it down to just football. So I feel like it's going to be a lot of offseason. So we'll do we'll do trade stuff. So we, we look at all the coaches and stuff that are kind of moving around right now. Uh, the Sean Payton deal, everything mm-hmm. going on with that. Um, you know, we'll do when we get closer onto the draft. We'll do some mock drafts, uh, stuff like that. T- very typical offseason stuff, um, but it's a lot of fun. We'll start doing fantasy stuff as well. So we're kind of getting a little bit of everything, depending on what you want. So it'll be awesome. Fun. Awesome, man. Uh, so in, in terms like your future goals and stuff for play action football, or do you think you guys are going to move towards maybe like a longer version of your content, maybe a full length podcast? Or is that something in the works? Yeah, definitely. So that has, that's actually how it started off. Um, mm. Along with the kind of writing and stuff, we were trying to do full podcasts. And we kind of learned that doing the shorter form stuff worked better. I would love to get back into doing podcasts and stuff because it's a lot of fun. Well, you're in school, right? What, what, are, you, what are you going to school for? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to school for mechanical engineering. Uh, oh. I go to 
I go to Cal Poly in uh, in San Luis Obispo, California. Where are you from, Jake? I'm from Minnesota, and oh. I am a Vikings fan. <laughs> okay, nice. I've never met a Viking fan. Yeah, it's uh, it's great, but it's also terrible. Um, <laughs> I would assume so. Yeah, from <laughs> the legacy of failure from even before I was born. But ride or die with them. They're they're the you know they're well, my number I one. I love to hear that. I mean, there's a lot of bandwagon fa fans out there, a lot of fair weather fans that uh, I cannot stand. See, I'm from Washington, so that whole Seattle Seahawk 2012 boom where everyone <laughs> just sort of became a Seahawk fan really, really made me hate Seattle even more. I'm a Steeler fan, so I had to deal with that whole Super Bowl oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad that you're sticking with it. You're staying true to staying true to the purple pe people eaters. Um, so you are a Vikings fan. I'm going to need that for uh, the five stages of hell segment, which we'll get mm -hmm. to a little bit later. Uh, let's just start out with some Super Bowl talk, though. What do you think of those conference championship games, man? I mean, what? The, of course, Niners game was a little, you know, Niners Eagles was a little bit of a letdown. You know, mm -hmm. we got Brock Purdy getting injured. You know, it's hard to do win. You, do you think before. if Brock Purdy stayed in that game, do you think that would have mattered? Or do you think the Eagles were going to run away? Regardless? I think it 100% would have mattered. I don't know if that would have changed the outcome. I I would like to think that it would have been a lot closer. Um, mm -hmm. It at least would have been, you know, discussable, debatable on which, you know, which team came out on top. Mm -hmm. But it was it was pretty huge. Not like not only for the fact that they lost him, but also for the fact that it's like, Everyone on the team is sitting there like, dang, we are on our four string guy right now. I, that's got to be demoralizing for everyone. Yeah. But I do think the Eagles have a really, really stacked team. Like offense, defense, they probably have the best roster in the league. And that's something that we've talked about on in, at play action is just kind of ranking the overall rosters. And we've been having the Eagles up at number one or two since week one. So mm -hmm. we, we, we've seen this coming. Um, it kind of shocked a lot of people to, to have them come in and, you know, everyone was saying, oh, they're frauds. They didn't beat anyone good. But I'll be honest. I was one of those guys, man. I was, I was not a big Philly advocate. I picked them to lose many times and I, I was wrong. I was wrong about this team completely. I'll be honest. I was too. It wasn't the fact that I didn't think they had a great roster. I thought more, I don't know. I just thought that other teams had to fight more I don't even know how to put it, but basically I thought they were going to kind of come in, get complacent with being number one and then get sat down. But we see that in the NFC and the AFC, that didn't happen. And go moving over to the AFC now, uh, I that was a fantastic game. The Chiefs Bengals. Um, I'm a big Joe Burrow fan and Jamar Chase fan. Mm -hmm. So I was a little bit sad seeing them lose. But, you know, Mahomes is it's fucking Honestly, Mahomes, dude. one of the one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, th that with what that guy can fucking do just on one leg is just ugh. he's so good it's almost boring yeah it <laughs> that's a not. good way to put it it is almost boring because it's like you know the guy's gonna go out and just fucking find a way to make it happen regardless and exactly you've seen him do it over and over again it's almost like brady back in when he had his run with the patriots every year he probably could have been the mvp oh yeah 100%. probably could have gave it to him but that's you know it, it is yeah it's it's a that's a good way to put it. I like the way the way, the way you put that. Um, Speaking of MVP, also um, we see that you know Patrick Mahomes just won MVP. I was yeah. like yesterday, yeah, today. Mm -hmm. But that's really impressive. He's had a hell of a year and it, honestly a hell of a five years since yeah. he started playing. But it, it goes to show me incredible. fucking Tyree without especially with Tyreek Hill leaving, you know, and mm -hmm. Juju Smith Schuster being your. I guess Travis Kelsey's your number one, but yeah. receiver wise, Juju's your best guy. And I'm a Steeler fan. He's not a true number one. I mean, no. he's he's a two. He's a good two, a really good, you know, second option. So the fact that he was still able to put together this season without Tyreek and pretty much just Travis Kelsey as your number one threat, I mean, it, it's remarkable. Yeah, he really saying, shut up a lot of people too. Especially yeah. playing on the broke or not broken, but the hurt ankle in mm -hmm. the in the championship game in the week before that. That was Super impressive. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll be honest, I was pretty happy that the Chiefs won because I could not. I, I can't stand the Bengals, obviously. And uh, last year, I tried rooting for the Bengals, but it was just right up until kickoff for the Super Bowl. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't have it in me to, to root for a division rival. But yeah, man, I, I think I said it since the beginning of the the season. I think the Super Bowl champion will be in the AFC 
regardless of who goes, I thought the bills were going to go, but you know, they obviously shit their pants at home. I don't know how they did that, but um, yeah. So I, I, I'm a chiefs. I'm going with the chiefs to win it all this year. Who do you, who do you got winning the Super Bowl? I got you there as well. I also said the AFC would win. I, <laughs> I also thought it would be the bills too. Um, but I kind of looking at it, even like, you know, halfway through the year, um, you see the Chiefs, you see the Bengals, you see the Bills, and you look at they got people in the NFC. You had the uh, Niners who, you know, they had Brock Purdy, third string quarterback. That you don't really know how far they're gonna go. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the Eagles. I, of course, was a Vikings fan, so I was thinking they would do better than they did. Right. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but you, you look at the matchups, and you're like, you know, AFC's probably got a stronger team. And so I'm sticking with that. I'm going with the with the Chiefs. Uh, it's hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes. It is. It is, man. And I've I've been stick. I've been. There's one thing that's been consistent with me all year, and it's that I thought the AFC team would win the Super Bowl, and I think the Philadelphia Eagles are not as good as their record indicates. So I have to live and die by it. I mean, if I go out with the you know Eagles being as good as they were, thought, as good as they perceived to be as the record, then I have to go out like that. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Yeah, good pick. All right. So let's get into a little segment. The first segment, the first time we've done this segment, it's called the five stages of hell. And what it is, is it's five trivia questions based on your favorite team, the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, stage number one is worth $1. Okay. Stage number two, worth $2. Stage three, worth $3, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can pull out at any time and cash in your money. Or you can keep going, and as the you know each stage gets tougher and tougher for the trivia questions. So I think that was kind of like who wants to be a millionaire. That's kind of how yeah. they did it. Yeah, same That's, same kind of yeah. setup. Okay, can't wait to get embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't. I'm just looking up random trivia questions, and that works for me. Yeah, so I became a fan. You know, so I'm 22. I became a fan pretty young. So anything after 2000, I should know well okay. well enough. Uh, anything beforehand is <laughs> we'll see <laughs> okay okay um i'll try to give you some some layups here at the beginning okay no not a viking home <laughs> see i'm getting a bunch of like actual vikings questions like uh, nordic <laughs> gotta learn about the lore behind the teams yeah that's actually a really good show vikings i highly recommend that um that's not even a fucking real question uh the Vikings, okay, it's the first one, all right? All yes right. or no? The Vikings have been in Minnesota for as long as they have existed in the NFL. That's true. They started out the Minnesota Vikings, uh, never went anywhere else. I remember they actually had the uh, the contest or whatever to name the team. Mm-hmm. I remember hearing about that, and Vikings was just won by a landslide. People loved that name. But, yeah, stayed in Minnesota. That is true. You earned yourself $1 so far, Jake. Moving on to stage two. All right. And just a heads up, we're going all the way here. We're you're, going go, you're, already, you're already going for I, it? I already, okay. already decided. Awesome. Awesome. Come on, man. I'm sorry, man. I should have had – I just don't know any don't trivia questions. Back. Who's your favorite Viking of all time? Let's just start off with that. That'll, be, that'll get you a few minutes. Um, I, of course, you have to love Randy Moss. Um, if you're a Vikings fan, he's just you know one of the GOATs. And Justin Jefferson now looking like it's, you know, falling in his footsteps there. So he's current roster, one of my favorites for sure. Um, I really love John Randall. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know if if everyone here listening knows about him, but he was an undrafted free agent and turned himself into a Hall of Fame player um, back in the end of the 90s. And he's a great story. Uh, Everyone should go look up his story and just learn about him a little bit. If you have this some time. Great, great person, great player. His name was uh, what? What was it? John Randall. John Randall. That sounds familiar. He's right bad that man. The bad man. Okay, John yeah. Randall. I'll look him up. You said he was undrafted, right? He was. Yeah. So he was undersized coming out of college. Um, nobody wanted him. Walked on, tried out for the Vikings, and the rest was history. Ended up walking in the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll look that up. Thank you for that. Um, okay, I think I got. Okay, this is seems uh damn, I want to give you a pretty not too hard of one. Uh let's see. 
okay, fuck it. We're doing it. Stage two. It's stages of hell, man. I mean, none of these are going to be easy, okay? Jared Allen. uh, Okay, Jared Allen had how many sacks in his legendary six-year stint? Now, I'll give you a multiple choice here. Okay. So in all, Mm -hmm. combined all six years. How many sacks in his legendary six year stint okay. with the Vikings? Yes. Not not his whole career, just with the Vikings. Gotcha. Okay. 85 and a half, 88, 93, or 96 and a half. Okay, let's see. So I know the year that he almost broke the record, he got either 20 or 20 and a half. So if we take a look at that over the five years, how, what were the options? I'm going to write them down. Okay. They are 88, 85 and a half, 93, or 96 and a half. Okay. I wouldn't say he quite got to 20 a year. Um, so I don't think it's 96 or 93. If I had to guess, 88 sounds about right. I'm going to go with 88. You're going to go with 88? Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I have to add it up because this doesn't even give you the results of the question. They have to like email it to you. So I'm adding it up right now. So you're going with 88? I'm going with 88. Okay. I got to get better at this segment. It's a great idea. I really love, really love the idea behind it. Okay. So 88 is your final answer? Final answer. It's 85 and a half. Oh, man. That was my other option. Unfortunate. Oh, that's still close, though. So close. We you want to do another there. just because just for the fuck of it let's just do yeah, one more we'll just, you got we'll just do one more one we'll more do one more okay we'll do one that has to do with maybe one that gives you the fucking answer how about that <laughs> jesus um <laughs> fucking a fuck it i'm just gonna make up my own what college did adrian peterson go to he went to Oklahoma, didn't he? He did go to Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma Sooners. That's the best I can do. I got to fucking get my, my trivia shit down, man. But I appreciate you. Thanks for playing the five stages of hell. Of didn't course. earn any money this time. This, this time. is true. That's true. We'll get out. We'll get make some money soon. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to the fi- last and final segment before I let you go here. It is called Six Chances at Greatness. And what it is, it's just like the TikTok Instagram trend where you have, you got to pick a QB, a running back, two receivers, a tight end, and a defense, and you got to try and build your the best team with random teams that you get assigned to, okay? Okay, cool. Sound fair enough? Perfect. So it, does, right. it, it, it like scrolls through, gives you one, you have to choose one of those players from that team to put on your team? Is that yeah. how that works? Okay, yeah, perfect. yeah. So I have a random, I could share my screen, but it's like a little spin wheel. I mean, I'll yeah. just tell you which team you get. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Big money, big money, big money. Ooh, Washington Commanders. Let's see. Give me Scary Terry as wide receiver. Actually, yeah, yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. Okay. And by the way, I will be having two other guests or three other guests come on. They're going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to have the fans do a voting, and whoever has the best team earns five bucks. So, perfect. Another chance for you to win some money, my friend. Gary Terry at receiver. Okay. Next one. Oh. Ooh, the Atlanta Falcons. Oh God. <laughs> I know, right? See, I could go for the worst team and put Marcus Mariota at quarterback. <laughs> but if you wanted to go that route, I think <clears throat> I think I'll have to take Kyle Pitt. Ah! I will we'll take Kyle Pitts. Kyle it's Pitts? Either. Yeah. I feel like you got to. I feel like that's good. It's either him or London, and I think we can get a better receiver. Yeah, I think so, too. All right, next one. Big money, big money. The Detroit Lions. Do we have one running back or two running backs? Just one running back. Just one? Yeah. I want to do it so bad. I want to take my guy Jamal Williams. <laughs> but give me Sun God. Amon Ross St. Brown is wide receiver too. Amon Ross. That's a good one. By the way, just a quick carry out of curiosity. 
As a Viking fan, who would you say your biggest rival is, or who do you hate the most? Packers. Packers. 100%. 100% although, I hate the Saints as well. Cannot stand the Saints. Oh, that is a bit of a rivalry between you guys. Yeah. they. Uh, it all started back in 2009 when they played the uh, the Vikings in the, the round before the playoffs. So it was, it was oh, the Brett Favre. Era. Exactly. The Brett Favre year with the... Uh, Kill the head, the bounty gates. Yeah, yeah, so, that was this. Yeah, that was a piece of shit off. era for the Saints, right there. Yeah, it was <laughs> nice to have them lose three years in a row on the close games and bad calls. So, it made me feel a little better. But yeah, oh, especially that Rams one, dude. Where exactly. it was just, oh, that was yeah, and then the year before that, you guys, <laughs> Stephon Diggs, the fucking walk off. That yeah. was yeah. been a tough stretch for Saints fans over the last. Six, seven years. All right. Next one. We're spinning. Ooh, my friend. I'm so sorry. The Carolina oh. Panthers. I can't even choose McCaffrey anymore. You can't choose <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Actually, you know what? Give me the Panthers defense. We got Panthers Jeremy Jean, Brian Burns. That'll be okay in a few years. We got a we got a team for the future here. That's for sure. That no doubt about it. No doubt about it. You're going young on this one. Okay. All right. Here we go. You ready for this? All right. The Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. Well, we got um uh, either Kenny Pickett or um or Naj. Blanking on his on his name, but yeah. Najee Harris. Najee locked in running back. Yep. All right. Dude, you're definitely going for the young team. I love it. <laughs> Uh, or I could. Do they still have Mitch Trubisky? <laughs> you can take. You can have That's Mitch. If anybody <laughs> wants Mitch, you can have him. Just fucking get him off the team. I cannot stand that guy. Cannot stand him. Hey, you want MVP? You heard me wrong. Not MVP. MVP. Nickelodeon MVP. most valuable player in the Nickelodeon game two years ago. <laughs> yeah. See, that just says it all right there about what you're <laughs> expecting with Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> Fucking okay. All right. Next spin. Here we go. Right, let's see what quarterback. Yeah, who are you going with a QB? Oh. Come on, give me someone good. Indianapolis Colts. Oh, God. <laughs> they, have, they don't even have a quarterback. Okay, how about this? They're going to sign Tom Brady. He's going to come out of retirement, and Tom Brady's going to be my quarterback. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll um, book it. Tom who, Brady's okay. I mean, is it is it Sam Ellinger right now? Is it's either Sam. It can't be Matt Ryan. I'm pretty sure oh, Matt's out. The Carson Wentz isn't there no more. No, that's brutal. Well, uh, give me give me Sammy boy. I go Sam Ellinger, <laughs> man. Ah, oh, fucking a. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. All right, well, have that. Uh, whoever wins, enjoy their five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. You can have some big Indianapolis Colts fans vote that's on your true. team. You know. That's who uh, likes that Shit. Carolina Panthers defense? Wow! All right, Mister J- Jake. What's your last name, by the way? What can My I name call is you? Hendrickson, last name Jake Hendricks. Jake Hendrickson. Hendrickson. Yeah. All right, Jake. I appreciate you coming on the show. Um, like I said, thank you for your time. I know your time is very valuable, especially being a student. I've been a student myself. I know how hard it is to you know manage all your classes. Not to mention a guy nagging you about getting on his goddamn podcast. So I appreciate you a hundred percent. I hope we can do it again sometime. I'll leave a link in the description for play action football. Go check it out, guys. It is good content and very informal. So thank you, Jake. Thanks for having me on. I had a blast. Awesome, man. I hope to do it again sometime. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed that uh, uh, interview with Mr. Jake Hendrickson. Like I said, play action football. Shout out to them. Good content. Very informative. Um, yeah, just just a, just a, a good page to follow if you're ever looking for good nfl content you know thinking of ideas for the draft or just ideas in football in general go check out their page again link in the bottom of the video next up we have my good friend mr christian broussard joining us for the second official time on the t bloom talk show he's a saints fan won't you guys give him a warm welcome applause as we transition over ladies and gentlemen christian broussard actually no i got a better introduction (laughs) <laughs> Just for the meathead. Welcome back 
the dart throwing, New Orleans Saint knowing, AMF Poland, Christian Broussard, aka Da Bruce. Brucey boy, how we feeling today? Feeling good, Tanner Bloom. Feeling good. That's good to hear, man. Good to hear. We got an interesting one in the Super Bowl. Before we get into that, let's talk about what happened in the conference championships. I mean, let's start it off with that Eagles Niners game. I got a specific question for you. If you're the Niners head coach, Kyle Shanahan, at what point are you saying, fuck it, dude? We got to be able to at least pass the ball at some point. Are you putting Christian McCaffrey in or are you keeping Brock Purdy like they did? You know, I, I probably would have went a little riskier. And because, I mean, they weren't going to come back just <laughs> running the ball the first three downs. So couldn't. couldn't. I would have went a little riskier. Definitely would have tested McCaffrey's arm, see if he could throw the ball at all. Uh huh. But I understand where Shanahan's coming from. You know, it's the team's probably a little demoralized. Would you even go with uh, Christian McCaffrey? Because to me, and obviously, I mean, this is just from outside perspective. I don't really know the locker room too well. But to me, I would go with George Kittle. He seems like more of the QB kind of guy, you know? No, that's the guy you got to throw it to. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like if there's any guy on that offensive side of the ball to play QB, I feel like George Kittle's your guy. Fucking, They they could have got real creative and, you know, ran some reverse passes. Dude, they ran it like a reverse so many times. Like, they did like a triple reverse to a pass to a fucking – it was a nightmare scenario. Yeah, for the it, it was definitely, definitely a nightmare. Hard to watch. Mm-hmm. I think everyone wanted to see a better game between I think it would have been a pretty good game if Purdy stayed healthy but do you think that they would have won oh that's <laughs> I think it's definitely possible I I was definitely leaning towards the Niners before the game um but you know you got to give credit to the Eagles they're uh they're a bit of a juggernaut they mm-hmm. they can move the ball and you know it's easier to move the ball when you're constantly getting it back three and out get the ball back three and out get the ball back but yeah it definitely would have been a lot closer yeah absolutely and it it's it it sucks that we are living in this reality where we don't really know what's happened what would have happened but yeah i mean i'll tell you one thing i was not very impressed with jalen hurts i mean this was arguably this probably was the best defense he's played against um to me he i mean he he missed some throws man he he wasn't looking like an MVP to me. And maybe that has to do with the defense, obviously. I mean, playing the Niners defense is never easy, but I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just not that high on Jalen Hurts. Yeah, I mean, I think part of it's also he didn't have to do much. So, you know, maybe they got up a little bit. Maybe the play calling gets a little reserved and they save some stuff for the Super Bowl. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's hard to tell. I guess we'll find out Sunday. Yeah, that's a good point. They probably were saving a couple things that they thought they might had to bring out in the conference championship game. So I could see some Philly, couple Philly specials going down <laughs> this Sunday. Let's turn it over to the Chiefs versus Bengals. Who did you have going into this one? I had the Chiefs going into that one. I'm always kind of a, uh, you know, I always kind of naturally default just to taking the better quarterback. Mm-hmm. And it's it's real hard. Not to a bad against. gig. Not a bad. <laughs> it's uh, real hard to pick against Patrick Mahomes playing yeah. at home. I know he had the ankle injury, but it almost felt like that gave him kind of. It took the pressure off of him a little bit. It's like he's got an excuse now. Not that he's probably the type of person to, you know, run up his excuses, but people were counting him out and. He turned it around. Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, he's really going into that that fucking territory of if he can win this Super Bowl, he can really start, you know, cementing his his spot in the top quarterbacks of all time. Not even just the top quarterbacks, top players of all time. And he's just still so young. Yeah, he's. It, it was weird. I think it was by the second round of the playoffs, he was the oldest quarterback left, if I do remember correctly. Yeah. At 27. At 20 fucking seven. It's remarkable. Um, Yeah, man, what we're seeing with Patrick Mahomes is just something special. I mean, there's no other way to put it. 
Um, yeah. He just – he can just control the game so well. He, he limits turnovers, and then, I mean – you just add on top of that, he's just got a huge arm. <laughs> he's got a fucking cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it, tough to beat. It's, it, it is. It is. Um, and you can't discredit, you know, Andy Reid either. Andy Reid, definitely one of the best offensive play callers in the league. And, you know, that's a duo we're going to be seeing for another 10 years. Yeah. Um, <laughs> assuming Andy Reid doesn't retire, you know. Yeah, something along those lines. Stays as healthy as he possibly can possibly can um last time you were on the talk show we were speculating what exactly might be happening with sean payton we now find out he will be a denver bronco yeah yeah yes in on what exactly the saints got here and are you happy with what they got i am happy with what we got we got a uh a first round pick in this year's draft which we were lacking because we traded our first round pick last year to trade up and get chris olave so we're back in the the first round, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, to get to get a first round pick for a <laughs> a coach that was he was never going to coach for us again. I mean, we did. Yeah, we, we, you know, he was never going to bring us any more value. But so we get that first round pick, and then we also get a second round pick next year. We also gave them our third round pick next year, so we move up around kind of mm-hmm. um but no i really like it like i said he wasn't ever going to coach for us again just for us to get any kind of value out of it um it's huge for us i mean we we're pretty capped out so we need kind of people need on picks. rookie need picks people on rookie deals contributors so it's uh it was it was good in my book would have loved to maybe get a higher pick but what is the pick 29th. Ooh. Why do they have the 29th? They had it from the 49ers. Uh, I think they got it from the Dolphins, though, in the Bradley Chubb trade. Oh. So that's just just been floating around. That that pick's just been going everywhere. (laughs) Yeah, dude, that's so weird on teams. Just That's that's remarkable. Okay, I know this is an NFL NFL, specific show, but we're going to talk about I just want quick input. How about KD, baby? Oh How my about God. KD? <laughs> Does that immediately put the Suns top of the Western Conference? Like, what? Dude. Am I... <laughs> it's crazy. I, you know, I wish they would have did it a year or two ago. I mm-hmm. feel like Chris Paul's getting up there in age. He's starting to lose a little step. But I mean, yeah. you got that one two punch of Booker and Durant. And if those guys can lock in and play some defense. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, I mean, it's going to be a tough, tough rim-protecting team if we can have Aiton and KD out there. Yeah, I mean, when KD was with the Warriors, he was a really good defender Mm because they'd play him at the the five, Mm -hmm. and, you know, he'd be their rim protector. You know, at this point, I would honestly, I wouldn't even mind seeing Chris Paul bring him off the bench, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can... I wouldn't yeah. be. I know Chris would never go for that, but you know, I mean, just because I we don't really have a signified. I guess I mean, what's his name? Uh, I always forget his freaking name. But the guy who has a weird jump shot campaign. Campaign, yeah. I mean, he's off and on. He's a streaky guy, but I mean, we don't even need Chris Paul in that fucking on that starting lineup at this point. You got two elite scores in fucking Booker and and Durant. I I don't know, man. I'm excited. Oh, I just we'll had to, I had to talk to you about. I know, it. I know, I get it, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's transition back to the Super Bowl. What's your official Super Bowl pick? Are you sticking with the better QB? Oof, making me lock it in early. Um, yep. Yeah, I, I, uh, you know, obviously, just been talking about it with a few people. I've, you know, consistently said I'm going with the Chiefs. Definitely going with the Chiefs. I mean, I think it's going to be a good game. I'm going to go Chiefs 27, Eagles 23. Chiefs 27, Eagles 23? Yep. I like it. I like it. I, I'm i going to have to lean Chiefs too, and I'm kind of on the same track as you are. Fucking, It's hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes. It's like it's really, really hard. I mean, anytime you watch him and you don't want to win, it seems like he never stops making plays. 
and it, it's it's really tough. And also, I've been on the uh, other side of the bandwagon for the Eagles this whole season. I think they're a little not bit a believer, overrated. not a believer. And I've been eating my words all fucking year. But I got to ride with it. <laughs> got to ride with it for the rest of the year. So we're going to take. Me and if you the both. New Orleans Saints can beat those guys, then I know the Kansas City Chiefs can. Yeah, I mean, come on. What are we talking about here? All right. So we got the Super Bowl predictions locked in. Now, I have a couple segments for you. They're new segments. Let's do it. Okay. First one called the five stages of hell. Chance for you to win some money here. So what it is, oh. each stage of hell is a trivia question based on the Saints. First question is worth a dollar. Second question worth two dollars. Third question worth three, and then four, four, and five, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, okay. Now this is going to be: Do you want to be a millionaire style, so you can cash out at any time? Okay, I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably keep it riding just, just cause. Okay, <laughs> just test myself a little bit. <laughs> Y'all cash out at one dollar. <laughs> I know. I get the first one wrong. Yeah. <laughs> each, each, uh, obviously, each stage gets harder and harder and harder and. The fifth one is going to be really hard. But let's test your knowledge, a little Saints knowledge, all right? Let's do it. You ready? Yep. Okay. This first one will be multiple choice. Who was suspended for the entire 2012 season? Will Smith, Drew Brees, Mark Ingram, or Sean Payton? Go D, Sean Payton. <laughs> <laughs> correct, correct. Thanks for the reminder. Yeah, I, well, you know, I had a Vikings fan on earlier, so. They don't like you guys either. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I won't like ever them. have you guys on at the same time. We'll keep you guys <laughs> um, second stage of hell. You ready for this? Yep. Yep. Let's keep it going. Um, trying Is to it, find... Are they all multiple choice? Uh, just the first three. Okay. And the four and five. You have to come up with your own. Yep. Okay. Who holds the team's record for passing yards? Drew Brees, Archie Manning, Aaron Brooks, or Jim Everett? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Drew Brees. <laughs> Actually, wrong. Aren't you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Drew Brees. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Two stages of hell down. Can he keep it going? This next one, the last multiple choice one, stage three. Are you ready? I am ready. Who is the Saints' all-time franchise leader in receiving yards, yards from scrimmage, receiving touchdowns, total touchdowns, and total receptions? Is it A. Eric Martin? B. Joe Horn, D, Danny Abramov. You better not be looking this up right now. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Or or D, Marcus Colston. Who, who, who was A? Eric Martin. And there's Joe Horn. And then Danny Abramovich. I am going to go with D, Marcus Colston. Ding, 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 ding. Three stages of hell completed. You are Woo! now at six dollars how you feeling right now bruce you on the edge of your seat right now i am i am i'm getting a little nervous because now i don't got the multiple choice you don't and... you got to come up with these fucking okay i'm ready i'm ready well this is going to be kind of a multiple choice we're gonna have to do this one multiple choice you ready for this yeah <laughs> which of the following once served as the saints mascot gumbo mambo sir saint or all of the above I I, I want to say all of the above because I I know Gumbo, mm -hmm. and I know Sir Saint. Like I know if those two have, you're gonna go all of the above. I'm gonna go all of the above. Ding ding ding! Stage four completed. Christian Broussard is now at ten. What was dollars. the other one besides Gumbo and Sir Saint? Mambo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mambo Gumbo wasn't enough. That was the one throwing me off, but... Okay, now you want to keep going, you said, right? Yeah, wanna... we're going all the way. Okay, all right. I'm going to get one going. Okay. Who holds the franchise record for interception return yards? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um... I, I want to say a guy, but he wasn't there very long, so I don't. I'm thinking Darren Sharper. I'm not locking that in yet. I'm not locking that in yet. Okay. But I'm thinking Darren Sharper. I know he had a couple uh, in our Super Bowl season. He had multiple, like, 60-yard-plus returns. Mm -hmm. 
You want me to give you a hint? If you're offering. I don't believe he played in the 2000s. I think it was pre pre 2000s. Yeah, you got to release, dude. Stage five of hell, man. This wasn't yeah, gonna no, be no, easy. no, no, no. I know, I knew it was gonna get tougher. Um, Let's dig into that little that Saint just, Snot thing, man. Come on. I just don't know many of our defensive backs pre two thousands. Um. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just burn out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go Darren. I'm I'm gonna go March on Lattimore. He said he's not in the 2000s. Maybe he's <laughs> in the 2000s. Maybe he's in the 2010s. <laughs> Tanner Bloom's trying to trick me. Oh man, no, I wish, I wish, but it is actually Tom Myers. Damn it! Do you know that guy? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I don't know him either. I was I don't know. Well, that sucks, man. You made it to stage four. Um. I, I Google Tom Myers and a comedian comes up. Are you playing a joke on me? I mean, Tom, it's what this is what this says. Useful trivia.com. If you can prove me wrong, prove me no, wrong. No, I found him. I found him. How many picks that guy got? Tom Myers. What is he playing? Like the fucking 90s or 80s? 70s. Fucking Tom Myers. No, that was a that was a great question. He had thirty six interceptions in his one hundred and thirty six games. Wow, it's a pretty decent stat line. I don't even think Troy Polamalu had thirty six interceptions. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, we're gonna move on. Next segment. You ready for this one? This is actually a pretty fun one. Last it's called- one was pretty fun too. Six chances at greatness, and what it is, I'm sure you've seen the TikTok trends. You get a random NFL team, and you have to build your best team. What do you get? You have to fill a QB position, a running back position, two receivers, a tight end, and a defense. Let's do it. Okay. And then, so the the chance that you have at winning money, I've already had my friend Jake Hendrickson come come on, and he has his team. I'm going to put him up on social media, do a little fan voting, and whoever has the best team based on the votes will earn five bucks. I like it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Let's get this going. Gotta write this out. Receiver. Receiver, tight end. And a defense. Okay, I'm gonna give you the random one here in a second. Spinning the wheel. All right, big money, big money, big money, big money. What do we got? Oh, the New Orleans Saints. Who are we picking? I am gonna go. A running back and take Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara, not a bad start. You sure you don't want Taysom for tight end? <laughs> for any of the positions? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very useful. All right. Next one. The Green Bay Packers. Let me get... Let's go a Raj. a Raj is technically still a Packer. He is technically still a Packer. No doubt about it. All right. So you got your QB, you got your running back. Next, oh, Brucey. Oh no, the Kansas, the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh well, I know who I'm going here with two wide receivers, a tight end, and a defense left. Let me get Mister Travis Kelsey. Oh man, that's a good one. I'll tell you this right that's now. That's the best one. That's. <laughs> I was I was upset because I I wanted you to get Patty, but you know, <laughs> you know how that goes. But a Rod's just as good, so. Can't go wrong with A-Rod. What do we got next? Ooh, the Houston Texans. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Some stank. You can't have it all, my friend. Yeah, can't have it all. I'm going to go Brandon Cooks, wide receiver. Shout out. How do you feel about Brandon Cooks? You like him? Dude, uh, you know, he used to play for the Saints. Right. And he's just not – he just doesn't have the right attitude, I feel like. I mean, he Mm – that's why we got rid of him. It's because he's complaining that we weren't throwing him the ball enough. Yeah. When and it's like we just we just drafted, you know, Michael Thomas and sorry, the kid was pretty good. Yeah, what do you want us to do? Fuck. All right, next one. Here we go. 
You got a receiver and a defense left. Let's see if you can get yourself a defense. Ooh. Yeah. Ready for this? Yep. The New York Jets. I'm going to go with the defense. That's, that's a that's a solid D. You that's gotta, a good defense they're building up there in New York. I agree. Tom Sala, hell of a head coach. I think he's going to take I think he's going to really take that Jets to the next level. Oh, oh, almost the Pittsburgh Steelers, but this last one, you're going to love it. The Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to take Justin Jefferson. Jay Only Jetta. thing left to do. Yeah. Wow. That's a hell of a fucking team you got going on. You got A-Rod, Alvin Kamara, Brandon Cooks, Jay Jetta, Travis Kelsey, and the Jets, D. That's going to be a tough one to beat, Christian, my man. I, I was going to say, I'd be surprised. Can I uh, Can I hear what the other guy got? Yeah, Jake Hendrickson. Uh, he yep. had a bad. He had a bad, bad round. He got Sam Ellinger at QB. <laughs> Sam Ellinger, are you here? Can you hear me? Uh oh, technical difficulties. The Bruce is frozen. Then, <laughs> there we go. Okay, you're back. All right, can you hear me? Yep. All right, he had Sam Ellinger at QB. That's Not, just an immediate loss. Yeah, I don't I even know. Need I it. Know. He came, it came down. He never got a team with a you know a decent QB, and that was like the last one, and happened to be the Colts. But uh, he got Najee Harris at running back, Scary Terry at receiver, his other receiver Ahmad Ross St. Brown, and then tight end Kyle Pitts in the defense, the Panthers. So, oh man, he just man. didn't get the right. Did teams. not get the right <laughs> teams at all, man. It was a tough, tough shoot for him. Well, hey, Christian Broussard, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate you coming in on the T Plume Talk Show once again. It's uh, always a pleasure. I'm sure you'll be back on soon enough. We got the yeah, NBA. Definitely, definitely. Look forward to after this Super Bowl we weekend. Got some NBA stuff to talk about. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is like once NFL season ends, that's when I really key in on the NBA. You know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you coming on. The Bruce, Christian Broussard, whatever you want to call him. Give him a no, round I of applause, T. Bloom Nation. I appreciate it, Tanner. Yeah. Anytime, no anytime. Hey, absolutely. All right, Bruce, you take care. Have a good day now. All right, no. again, thank you, Brucey boy. I appreciate you coming in, giving us some good insight, and possibly making the best six chances of greatness team we've ever witnessed. We know Jake had a little bit of a tough time there. Christian came in and really set the pace for, you know, who's going to be winning this this uh, this interesting, um, what would it be called, a voting? I mean, I'm, I'm going to have you guys vote on the best team. I mean, what is that called? I guess uh, competition, so to speak. So, yeah, but if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, you will find out the ways of which you can vote. And, yeah, so far it looks like Christian's team is going to take the lead. Now we're going to transition over to... Justin Child, another friend of mine, close friend. He's a Patriot fan. He's been on the podcast one other time. We're transitioning over to him, see what he's got to say about the Super Bowl, see how stupid or maybe how smart he sounded about the Super Bowl, and we'll get a look on his five stages of hell and a look on his six chances of greatness. Here we go. We good? How's it going, bud? What's going on? Justin, yeah, Anthony, I can hear you. Child, Childress, <laughs> Brady, Thomas, the ninth. How are you doing today? Good. How you doing, bro? Doing pretty good. It looks like we might have a bit of a lag going on. Is there any delay in my? Yeah, I I hear it. Yeah, you're delayed a little bit. Hold up three when you hear this. Wow, a little bit of a delay going on. That's weird. Seems like it might be getting better. Yeah. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just yeah. go for it. It's working. It's good. Okay. We're good. Okay. Justin Child, welcome <clears> back <throat> to the T Boom Talk Show. Last time we had you on, we talked a little bit about the Patriots football. We're past that now. I love right? doing it. We're we are <laughs> at the point in the season where there's two teams left, the Chiefs and the Eagles. Before we get into that matchup, let's talk a little bit what happened in order for this matchup to be happening today. Those conference championship games. I got a few questions for you. Need your take on a few things. First of all, let's look at the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Niners. Obviously, a travesty of a game and an absolute utter disappointment for, you know, just fans across the league. At what point does Justin Child, if he's the yeah. head coach, say, fuck it, I'm putting in McCaffrey. We got to at least try something. 
is McCaffrey much better than what they got from Brock Purdy with whatever he could do for him that rest of that game? Like, I mean, the dink and dunk and screen passes, I don't think – is does he have a quarterback background? I don't know. Can he sling it? I don't know. I, I mean, I he, he's, their, he's their emergency QB, though. I personally, and I mentioned this earlier, I'd go to George Kittle. He seems like more the QB guy. Yeah, I mean – at some point, if you know Brock can't throw, if you want, if you genuinely want to try to win, you got to put somebody else back there. Mm -hmm. Don't know how much. I mean, I I would have tried somebody else um, a lot, a lot sooner. Probably the second Johnson went out, right? Mm -hmm. That's his last name? Yeah. Josh Johnson? No, yeah, because yeah. knowing Brock Purdy, he can't throw. You know, at best, he can just, you know, throw a five-yard, you know, whatever slant screen yeah. pass i mean to put him in the game is pretty much conceding it because you wouldn't have been able to come back say you did you know run the ball successfully you can't put together three unanswered drives running the ball you know like it's it it almost seems like he conceded the after game. a drive or two yeah the defense knows what you're doing there's no trick it's you're giving up it's almost like waving the white flag yeah that's what I thought it Chances was. Chances are equal, if not better, with Kittle or McCaffrey. So exactly. I mean, you're already. I just a situation. go to somebody with a quarterback background. Yeah. Anybody with a quarterback background, high school, <laughs> any, I don't care. Honestly, That's why I I mean, I'm just. Everyone says, "Why well, Christian McCaffrey?" I don't. Did he have a quarterback? background that, well, that he was listed as their emergency QB, so that's why they bring up Christian McCaffrey. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just disappointing that was a disappointing game i feel for our boy nick man mm -hmm. niners were poised for the big upset but uh definitely don't like to see games like that go down like that that was just yeah bummer. it was absolutely what, what did you think about jalen hurt's performance overall were you happy with it were you <laughs> uh, i mean yeah you you i was texting you during the game man you i'm a jalen hurts guy i think he he did what he needed to do. I think it, it helped that their quarterback got hurt, but I don't necessarily think that the outcome would have been too different because Philly still put up how many points on that defense? Like no, And they they had other injuries too, right? Uh, if I remember correctly, they had some injuries on defense, but nothing like, you know, to the point where they weren't the number one defense still. Mm -hmm. Taylor yeah. Hurts, I mean, he, he showed up. He's a dog. I think he had a bad performance, man. I think he had a bad performance. He missed a lot of throws. He overthrew AJ Brown early in the game where he could have yeah, had a TD. I, he wasn't perfect. Wasn't perfect. Well, <clears> you know me. You know me and my beef with him. I got beef with him. So you know big, I had to big critic. Big critic. Yeah, huge critic. Huge. Looking <clears> for <throat> any kind of opportunity. Called him a fullback once, I think. Dude, you know, it's just I just remember that game the a couple years ago where he faced Tampa <clears> and he just that he got ran off the field in the playoffs. Had a terrible game passing, and that that's just stuck with yeah. him for so long with Jalen Hurts. I don't know. We'll see, man. I mean, let's look at the other side of the ball, the Chiefs and yeah, the Bengals. It'll be a big test tomorrow, man. Chiefs, Bengals. I think. Were you surprised by the outcome there? Did you think the Chiefs were going to make it? I mean, I wanted to see the Bengals go again I wanted to kind of see that underdog go again but to say to say I was surprised no I've told you before I think Patrick Mahomes is I think him and Andy have moved into the Bill and Tom seat probably mm -hmm. going to be in the AFC again next year mm -hmm. championship game uh, probably going to be in MVP top two voting again next year if not win it again so I, to say a surprise no nah. okay here's a question to be upset yeah I'm a little upset about it I don't want to, I don't want them to join us. No. Join us in what? I don't want them going on no dynasty run, all right? I don't want to see oh. it. Oh, well, They've yeah. Been to how many Super Bowls in the last couple of years? I mean, they're they're <laughs> 3 out of 5. They're showing up. Yeah. Yeah, I know, dude. It is scary, but they got a long way to go, dude. Just relax. Yeah, they had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But here's a question, yeah. and this is for old Drewski out there if you're listening. If Patrick Mahomes wins this Super Bowl, or maybe he doesn't even have to win the Super Bowl, but has he already surpassed Aaron Rodgers 
or will he with this Super Bowl win? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's, Does if he you have to the win the Super Bowl. Yeah. But I mean, because he's already been to three. World? He's 27. How old is he? 27? Yeah, he's already been to three. That's more than Aaron's been to. One, one. Okay, how many MVPs do you have? Two? I think two three, by now. Two? How Maybe. many does Aaron have? Five? Fuck, like six. Some, yeah, some stupid number. I think Pat still has quite a ways to go. I mean, yeah, I think if not, he's already like looking Aaron right in the eyes Staring in terms right of their the careers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, for sure. Yeah, I think it, he's. Yeah, and it's it's so hard to say because you know Aaron's one of those guys. He's one of the greatest to ever do it, but stat wise, he just doesn't have that criteria that some of these quarterbacks are going to have. Like you know, Tom Brady, or when you compare him to Joe Montana, or now even Patrick Mahomes or Ben Roethlisberger. You know, like, like the upper guys, the higher guys. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's when you gotta sit them. You know, get our mind people and put the film on because. I do have to say Aaron Rodgers has to be like, if not the greatest athletic quarterback in terms of the plays he can make, because in his prime, I mean, he'd give it to you on the ground like a Lamar or like a Kaepernick mm -hmm. and he would sling it like Brett Favre, if not better. Like he made, I remember growing up playing quarterback, he would throw he would make throws and it's like, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to throw off your back foot. You're not supposed to be making those. And he would do it and it would work. So it kind of sucked for coaches trying to train quarterbacks up. Yeah. Cause they were looking up to guys like that, but it's hard because not everybody can do that. Yeah. It's so, like Steph. Everyone wants to shoot the three pointer now. Cause Steph Curry's a fucking marksman. I know what you mean. Yeah. Right. I don't want to sit and I mean, Aaron Rodgers definitely deserves to be on a hot seat and not, all this and that, but I don't want to completely slander him and not act like I don't respect him. Well, I mean, we can't sit here and act like he's not a piece of shit. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie. <laughs> to, you know, Aaron Rodgers. I, I personally piece of shit. like the guy's personality. I I think he's I'm funny. just kidding Aaron Rodgers out there. Okay, just relax. But yeah, I mean, in terms of his career, I think, you know, you definitely you definitely have got to at least make it back to one. He's let alone a top win another. 50 quarterback and he ain't anything below 25. I'm sorry. He's not. He's not even in the top 50 quarterbacks ever. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah, of all time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. To Drew, Drew let's just find out if he watches. Yeah. <laughs> we'll know. We'll know. He's going to we'll just be... test him. Yeah. 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 We will definitely know. Drew, text us right now that you watched. If we don't get no text, then we know. We know. All right. Let's get to the Super Bowl. Uh, or if we show up to the game tomorrow without any fucking confrontation. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah. Let's get to these two. Got a little bit of a lag going again, but yeah, let's do this. Okay. Um, who you got and why and how much and by how far? How long? Give me it all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, honestly, dude, I got Philly. I got Philly, Philly. Why? For a number of reasons. Would love to see Chuck get another one. Would love to see Chuck get another one. And top top two offense, top two offense, top two defense. That's the difference. But KC's, I think they're the number one offense, right? Probably. But but Philly's a top two offense and a top two defense, and I think that's going to be the difference. I think it's going to be a shootout. I think you're going to see Pat Mahomes do his thing. Mm -hmm. but I also think Philly's offense is going to show up too. I think the difference is going to be that Philadelphia defense making the plays that Kansas City Chiefs just don't. Right. I I see what you mean, and people have been telling me this. Charles has been telling me this all season long, but I, I have to go against the Eagles, man. I have to ride – I have to ride with the Chiefs, not only because I believe that Patrick Mahomes is the better quarterback and this and that and all the other, but I have stood by the Eagles being a fraud, and I have to stay by that till the end of the season. And this will be the game where we finally see yeah. that hiccup, that trip up. 
Hopefully I'm wrong for Charles' sakes. Charles, I know you're listening. Hopefully I am wrong, but I have to ride it out with believing. And also I said from the beginning, I thought the AFC was going to get the Super Bowl this year. I thought regardless of what team happened to make it out, I thought it was going to be the Bills, but the Chiefs made it out. I'm still just as comfortable taking them. So I got to roll with the I got to roll yeah. with the Chiefs. You're actually the first person who predicted the Eagles so far. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So I just I think it's going to be like a 37 34 type game. 37 34. 34 31. Okay. I think we're I think we're going over 30 each. Okay. Well, I want to introduce you to a new segment. The new segment is called Five Stages of Hell. You want to know what it is? Sounds familiar. It is a chance to win some money. And what it is, is each stage of hell is one trivia question based on the New England Patriots. The first question is worth $1. The second question is worth $2. Third question worth 3 and et cetera, et cetera, all the way to 5 You can opt to get, once you get one question right, you can cash out with the money. Or you can keep going to, you know, all the way up to stage five. So it's like a who wants to be a millionaire style style uh, game. Let's do it. Sound good? Okay. Right on. You don't have no money involved, but each each question is worth a dollar. <laughs> and then second question, $2. Third question, $3. You, you, you know what I'm saying. You ready for this? Let's do it. What rookie helped revitalize the New England Patriots defensive line in 2001? A, Vince Wilfork, B, Richard Seymour, 3, Marcus Spears, or 4, Ty Warren? Hmm. I want to say... I want to say Seymour? You can go to see more your final answer. Yeah, Will Fork was 2002. I almost want to say Warren, but I'm going to go Seymour. Richard Seymour. Ding, 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 ding. You just won a dollar, my friend. Ah, I thought you were going to say a thousand. Oh, no, 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 no. One day, one day. <laughs> okay. So you want to cash out or keep going? Let's just keep going, dude. Okay. Here's the second one. What quarterback did Tom Brady replace in 2001, eventually leading the Patriots to a Super Bowl championship? A, Drew Bledsoe. B, Vinny Testaverde. C, Scott Zolak. Or four, Doug Flutie. Drew Bledy. Is that your final answer? Bledy fingers. That's my final answer. Drew Bledsoe is correct. You have just won $3, Justin. Go ahead and give yourself a round of applause. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. Looking to get okay. a couple more singles for the Here we go. game tomorrow. What running back did the New England Patriots acquire from the Cincinnati Bengals in 2004? Was it A, Rudy Johnson, B, Corey Dillon, C, Kijana Carter or D Antoine Smith? Corey Dillon. Ding 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 ding. Justin Child, you have just won six dollars. Give yourself a pat on the back. Don't worry about it. You can still either cash out now or go for the fourth. Is this the last question? No, you have two more, fourth and fifth. Let's go. Let's keep going. I don't even care if, if it. Yeah, let's keep going. Fuck it. We're going until we. <laughs> you could cash out six dollars. Right okay. All right. Hey. Um. Uh. What was I going to say? These. This next question will not be multiple choice. Oh, okay. That's interesting. How many years did it take Bill Belichick to win a Super Bowl with the New England Patriots? Like from the moment he became head coach? Yes. Huh? 
Ya. Um, I want to say three to four. Which one are you going with? Because it might not even be a perfect three. I want to say is three years. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Justin Child, you are incorrect. The correct Fuck. answer was two years. That's okay, though. It's okay. Damn it. You didn't win any money. Damn do you want to just do the fifth one just for shits and gigs? See if you would have got it? Absolutely, because I was. I just feel like it was one way or the other. God damn it. Was it really two? Wow. That's impressive. It's very impressive. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, That's right. You got hired in 99, okay. not 98. What year were the New England Patriots founded? 40, 50, 60, or 70? It has to be 40. Is they, it had to be one of the older teams. Let's say 50s. 40s. 50s. 40s? We're going, we're going 50s. It was the 60s, 1960. The New England Damn. Patriots were founded. Damn, I should have cashed out. Yeah. You should. I, yeah, I mean, no one else has cashed out, and everyone has got it wrong. Christian made it to five. Um, Freaking Jake, he made it to three. But, yeah. I'm trying to give you I guys mean, money here. Because you want to be – yeah, but you want to be confident in knowing your t- – team but then it's like okay the founding one how am i i'm that one's kind of just like me shooting in the dark on that one buddy more more you know off tops i just need to be better all right well hey better you have you have another chance to win some money this one's actually pretty fun it's called (laughs) six chances at great yeah so what it is i'm sure you've seen the tiktok instagram trend you get a random nfl team assigned to you and you have to build a team. You get one QB, a running back, two receivers, a tight end, and a defense. So you get six rounds of a random team. Does that make sense? I have not seen this trend. So okay. So what? So, you just you you give me a random team, and I pick. A you position have to fill it. To yeah, you have, to, you have to, you have six positions to fill. Okay. Once you lock in a position, like a player for a position, you can't change them. And each round you get a team okay. where you can, you know, draft a guy to your team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And I'll be giving you the random teams. And what it is, I had Christian do it. My man Jake did it. And I think Charles is going to do it as well. I'm going to have the fans vote on whoever comes up with the best team wins five bucks. So. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, let's see. Find it. Don't worry. Here we go. Okay. Big money. Big money. Spin. First spin. First spin. Here we go. Here we go. First team. The Miami Dolphins. You say how many receivers? You get two receivers. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill going first. All right. It's pretty good fucking first round pick. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh, starting hot. Getting a little stank here. The Houston Texans. I deserve it. <clears throat> Shit, give me Damian Pierce at running back. Damian Pierce. I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's not. Hey, there's a lot of potential in his rookie after his rookie year. Yeah, I'll I mean, it. and it's not like he had much to pick from. It's the fucking Texans. I don't know what else I would have took. <laughs> yeah. All right. And the Baltimore Ravens. What do I think your people think of Lamar? Do I think your fans like Lamar? Or do I think your fans hate Lamar. I can tell you this. I hate Lamar. Fuck. I know you do. I know you wouldn't vote my team <laughs> as the best if I take him. Uh, that would... I know I'm missing that one. I think there's one guy you got to go with here. Did you, did you say tight end? 
You got a tight end, yeah. Mark Andrews. All right. That's safe. But now I could potentially be missing out on Lamar. I'll live with it. Yeah. Uh, Jake, my friend, he had a uh, – he had to pick Sam Ellinger as his quarterback. quarterback. So – he had a tough. He had a tough spin, of, though. Okay, I here see we how go. You get screwed into that, though. Yeah. San Francisco 49ers. Defense. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice you one. You said I get a D. Yep. All right. Now you're just looking at one QB and another receiver. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh, 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 Green Bay Packers. <laughs> Give me Mr. Rogers. I love it. Mr. Rogers. I'd rather fucking fall back on receiver at the end. Probably get a good chance. It's a solid guy. All right, let's see. Let's see who you get. That's a that's a good fucking team. I'm Denver curious Broncos. about the other guys. Fuck. Which one do you want, Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton? Jerry Judy, or what do you think? I mean, that's two different types of receivers. I already got. All right, yeah, give me Cortland Sutton because I already got a speedster. Go give me Mister Possession. I love it. I love it. That's a solid team right there. You got Aaron Rodgers at QB. That's a solid team. Damian Pierce at running back. Tyree Kill at receiver. Cortland Sutton at receiver. Mark Andrews at tight end, and then the 49ers defense. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. My my dude, uh, Jake Hendrickson. That's a Super Bowl. Got Sam Ellinger, Sam Ellinger, or Ellinger, however you say his name. Najee Harris at running back. Scary Terry at receiver. Ahmad Ross St. Brown at receiver. Kyle Pitts at tight end, and the Panthers defense. Not the best. Who was his second receiver? Ahmad Ross St. Brown. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then Christian, he also had Aaron Rodgers, Alvin Kamara, Brandon Cooks, Justin Jefferson, Travis Kelsey, and the Jets defense. Jeez, whew, that yeah. runs me my money. That's pretty, pretty close. Yep, that runs me my money for sure. I'm, I was feeling good. Now, I mean, they're, yeah, pretty, they're pretty close. They're pretty close. But, yeah. hey, anyway, these will be posted. We'll get the fans vote, get the official score. Oh, yeah, probably, Charles hasn't done his. Probably next, uh, next week sometime, I'm assuming. I'll put a date or a date time on it. But, anyway, just as how money. You I know appreciate where I you coming on the show, my man. Um, always a fun time. Obviously, this is going to be the last NFL show we'll do for you know, a little bit, but we got the NBA season in store, right? I plan on being in playoffs too, baby. I'll come Lots the of Knicks. stuff. Come on Lots now. of stuff to talk about there. So I'll have you back on. Love soon, to my come man. on, buddy. Love appreciate coming on. Love to be here, bud. All right, thank you again, Justin Child. All right, guys. I mean, sheesh, Justin Child coming in with some heat for this. Six chances of greatness. I mean, Christian's going to really have his work cut out for him if he wants to beat out Justin because it's 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 a tough one. That's a close, close. Uh, Looking at the teams right now, that's a close call. But all the voting will be decided by you guys out there. I'll give you guys an update on where you can vote here at the end of the video. But since Sir Charles VIII, due to medical reasoning, could not be joining us this weekend, I wanted to have four teams for you guys to be able to vote upon for the Six Chances of Greatness Challenge. There it is. It's a challenge. I finally found it. A challenge. The Six Chances of Greatness Challenge. Since Charles VIII wasn't able to uh, come in and give us a fourth team, I'm going to have no chance, no choice but to do it myself. Maybe I can uh, save myself some money here and make the best team. We'll see. So join me right now as I give myself Six Chances at Greatness. All right. We're going to capture... There it is. You guys can see that. Just so you guys know, I'm not cheating. We're going to spin the wheel here. Let me write it down. QB. Running back. Receiver. Receiver. Tight end. Oh, come on. Defense. By the way, just so we know, Pilot Pens, 
are the superior pen. I don't care where you live, where you stay, anything about that. They're just the superior pen, and that's okay. Um, hey, let's do this. Put myself right in the corner right there. There we go. All right. Spinning the wheel first up. What do we got? Give me something good. I want to get a quarterback out of the way. Ooh, the Denver Broncos. Give me the Broncos defense. Give me the Denver Broncos defense. I like their defense a lot. I like that a lot. I'm not I don't want Sutton, I don't want Judy. I don't definitely don't want Russell Wilson. What do we got? Ooh, the Washington. Oh, sorry. Commanders, not Redskins. Um I have to go Scary Terry. I have to. I don't see any other really viable option to go with that one. Let's get another one. Big money, big money. Ooh, the Buffalo Bills. Give me Josh Allen. I got to take Josh Allen. That's going to be my QB. I don't want to get stuck without a quarterback like my man Jake. Okay. Okay, looking decent here. Terry McLaurin, Broncos D, Josh Allen, QB. Give me something. Give me a receiver here. Ooh, the Buccaneers. Give me... Give me Mike Evans. It's either Mike Evans or Chris Cobb. I'm going to go with Mike Evans on that one. Okay, now we. I need a running back and a tight end. Give me something good. Ooh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Give me, ooh, should I go Naj or Pat? It's harder to get a tight end. I'm going to go Pat Fryermuth. Fryer. Muth. Okay. Next one. Big money, big money. Ooh, the New York Giants. Give me Saquon Barkley, baby. I'll take it. Saquon Barkley. That's a hell of a team there. Josh Allen at QB. Saquon Barkley at running back. Mike Evans at receiver, Terry McLaurin at receiver, Pat Fryermuth in the defense of the Broncos. Nothing crazy. No, like, I guess Saquon Barkley's a pretty, my biggest star, but pretty solid team, though. I think I don't, I don't know if I beat Justin or Christian. I know I beat Jake, but I don't know if I can beat Justin or Christian, but I think I'm going to snag a few low-key votes. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Well, Get you guys back to full screen here. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the T Bloom Talk Show, the post Super Bowl edition. Like I said, guys, unfortunately, was not able to come out with this before the Super Bowl. So there is going to be a couple conversations that, you know, we're going to sound stupid on or we might have sound smart on. But anyway, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in this week. Coming back this Friday, we're transitioning it over full time to the MMA. We're going to give you guys a UFC fight night breakdown, and I don't know who's going to be on it this time, but I know it's, I'm at least going to be here. So show up, tune in, MMA podcast coming up this Friday. You don't want to miss out. T-Bloom Nation, deuce.